Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. So we're fishing a new pond that uh, was kind of recommended to me. Uh, I've seen it before on Google's Maps and wasn't sure if I could fish it or not. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Uh, here's the pond. Looking pretty good. Hope that angle on my camera is good for you guys. But uh, I'm gonna throw a top water popper around for a little bit. What's nice about this pond is I can actually walk around the whole entire thing. So I'm gonna pull the spot first. See if we can get on any fish. Not very big. Right, I got one. Right. I got one fish warm, warm still warm. Hey, there we go. One bath this morning. Go ahead and set this rod down for a second. Let's get a photo. That was good. Get top water bite. And there we go. All right, one down. What's nice about these striking poppers or any popper in is that they got a, a bunch of hooks and they just get just a face full of them. And I just noticed in the water here the weeds are pretty pretty stacked up right here so it feels a little bit better what is that? oh it's a pickerel nice That's cool. a nice little surprise. Go ahead and get him off the ground. Alright. Nice little pickerel. That's kind of cool. We got two species already. Go ahead and release him. That's two fish in a row. Yeah. 
two three critters. I don't know what that smell is, but it's horrible. Alright, another perk roll. Hopefully he does okay. I think my hookup ratio should be better because usually when I use a popper, I to use uh, mono because it gives a little bit more stretch to load up on that fish. But I'm using braid right now. Another pickerel. Slay fest today. These slimy darts. They bleed so bad every time you hook them. Alright, there's another one. So this is a lot of fun catching these pickerel, especially on top water. I just need to start bringing a rag with me to clean my hands. Snot rockets are gross. But man, they torpedo this bait like a, like, knock a ship out of the water. Now if I can just find a bass, it'd be cooler, but heck. Give you an old video on pickerel fishing. I'm down with that. The other thing too, a braid on a treble hook bait sometimes too is a braid is so limp that when the bait is flying out, it'll get wrapped up around the uh, strength, the rope, the, the line. Somebody got a fire going, I guess. Smoke. Move down a little bit. We've got a couple bites here. One pick roll. I have no idea really what this is up here. 
I don't know if it's a camp or if it's a cult or what it is. <laughs> It'd be really neat if I was able to put a kayak in here, but this lake isn't very deep. No. And I know that there's some halfway decent sized bass in here. It's just finding them. So we're gonna keep walking, get past these weeds, these cattails, and we get back up on this side. Come around the corner here. Come up on the other side and get in the truck and go. This looks a little juicy over here. I don't know how deep this is here. Let's get down here where I can cast a little bit better. Got all these willow trees behind me. So we can find a bass. I don't know what that is. It is tiny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my boy. <laughs> Come here. Now that's funny. That needs to be a photo. Mouthful of trouble hooks too. Something from my fish tank that I want to build. Right, yeah. Nice little one. Oh, the fish. Big pickerel. Oh, it's a big pickerel. Nice. Oh, look at the size of that one, guys. Oh, I've been wanting a big pickerel like this for a long time. That's a giant. Oh, big pickerel. Nice. Oh, I'm super excited about that one. Now he's bleeding all over. Let's get some surgery. I'll be right back. Another pickle. Oh, he's diving deep. He's a little guy. Oh, get out of that weeds. Another good one. Ah. That's why they bleed so much. They throw the hooks. So all over the place and another good one I'm happy with all these in it's so fun on top water all right good show him off another one there Chain pickle. Yeah. <laughs> Not want to be held. There's a fish on the fluke. Oh, it feels good. There it is. Probably another pickerel. Yep. No, it's a bass. Nice. It's a largemouth bass. Remember what these look like. Yeah, weird. He got a little growth on the bottom of his neck. 
not going to help me in my tournament, but it looks good. Go ahead and get a picture with him. I almost forgot what they look like. Well, guys, I think we're going to end the video here. Uh, awesome session today on the water. I'm pretty excited about how this came out. You know, I had no ex expectations of this pond being any good. It's really shallow. It's got bass in it. It's got pickerel, bluegill. So something just moved right there. So let's see if we can get them on while I'm shooting the outro. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you for all the support once again. Make sure you guys click that like button. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And hit that notification button so you get notified when i put up a new video we're still on that goal for of course the machine will turn on when i do my outro but um yeah trying to reach that goal of 500 videos uh or 500 subscribers excuse me before uh, the end of the year I'm not sure if we're going to get there or not but we'll just keep pumping up content um but yeah i'm pretty excited about how this uh, day went. I'm heading to the flea market with the wife. Let's see if I can find some old baits. I think I'm about doing like an old bait challenge. Find some old baits and fish them. Uh, nothing too expensive, of course, because you know, some of them older baits can be worth a little bit of money. So anyway, last cast. We're gonna see what happens. Thanks again, guys. Love you. Thanks for the support. Have an awesome day.